Let's talk about distribution of the sample mean. For the mean and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of x bar, we have the mean for the x bar is the population mean, and the sigma for x bar is the population standard deviation divided by square root of the sample size n. Now let's do some examples. For this question, we have the population mean is 15 years and the standard deviation is 4.1. So sample size is 10 and the population mean is 15. The population sigma is 4.1. And we know the mean for the x bar is the population mu. And the sigma for x bar equals population sigma divided by sqrt, the square root of n. Now, what's the probability that their mean life will be longer than 16 years? So mu is here. This is the variable for x bar. Here is 15, so 16 is here. We want to know the probability longer than 16 years is the right side area to the 16. We know in Excel, the function only could calculate the left side area to this variable. Now, equals the right side is the total area, 1 minus the left side area. So norm distribution x is 16 and mu is 15, sigma is this number, and we always choose true. Now let's go to the next question. A particular fruit, the weights are normally distributed and the mean is 565 and the standard deviation is 37. So these two numbers, there is 565, and the population mu and the population sigma is 37 grams. And pick 23, this sample size is 23. You could directly use autofill, get the answer. The probability that their mean weight will be between 550 grams and 558. Now let's draw. This is the between case. The lower bound is 556 and upper bound is 558. That means the area, this middle part of the area. For the Excel, we only could know for this, the left side area to the upper bound, then minus this left side area to the lower bound. Then we get the middle part. So equals norm distribution x upper bound 558 and mean is 565 standard deviation. Then we always choose true minus normal distribution lower bound in the same mill sigma and two enter okay now let's go to next question the manufacturer knows that their item has a normally distributed lifespan the population mean is 10.8 and the sigma is 1.3 and the sample size is 13 so we input 13 there is Population mu is 10.8, population sigma is 1.3, and we know this mean for the x bar is the same 10.8, and the sigma for x bar is, we get this number. And we want to know 1% of the time their mean life will be less than how many years. Now let's draw so mu x bar here is 10.8. This is a variable for x bar. And 1%, that's the probability. So suppose this unknown, this 
variable how many years is here in this question mark we want to know is less than this number then we get the probability 1% this area is 1% is 0.01 so is on inverse the probability is 0.01 and the mu and the sigma enter so we get this answer round to one decimal place so 10.0 let's go to number eight given mean is 282 the population sigma is 19 and the 34 is a sample size then we know the mu for x bar and the sigma for x bar now let's draw so ask you this unknown sample mean this value when greater than this value this area is 19 percent now we know the left side is area to this unknown sample mean is 1 minus 0 0.19 so is 0 0.81 so it goes norm dot inverse is 0 0.81 and the mean then sigma and enter so this is the answer also go to the nearest gram so the whole number 285 let's go to number nine number nine given the population mean is 468 and the population sigma is 27 and the sample is 11 and we know the sigma for x bar is 8.1 so we need to calculate 13 percent of the time their mean weight will be greater than how many grams now let's draw so greater than this uh, no, sample mean is 13%. So this question is similar to the last question. So here is 13%. Now we know this left side is the area, the probability less than this unknown sample mean is 1 minus 13% is 0 0.87. Is norm inverse? 1 minus 0 0.13 enter and also we need to get the whole number so input 477 now let's go to number 10 so this question given the population mean is 10.6 and the standard deviation of population is 2.3 sample size is 44 and you see Excel already auto calculated all the mu x bar and the sigma x bar. So now let's draw. Mu is here, mu x bar here is 10.6, then 11.1 .1 is here. And in Excel, we know the Excel, the function only could give the left side area to this 11.1. .1. So we need a 1 minus this left side then we get this this area so it goes 1 minus norm distribution and the x is 11.1 .1, and the mu is this one and the sigma always choose to run to four decimal so 0 0.0746